we are going to be removing the key cover from the Steinway piano and I think Mason and Hamlin and a few others might be the same. The key slip just lifts off. Then there are two screws under that hold the cheek block. elusive slot and then you, with upward pressure or just pulling straight upward the hands closer to the ends I lift up and place everything just parallel with the edges of the sharks lift up one end and this just has, Take it off, gently place other end off and place. And now, so this would be the first step to pulling an action, removing an action. Some people grab it by, to pull the action, grab by these locating pins, but I don't, if I possibly can, I, I'll either use the glides, or if there's room, I'll use the action brackets, or if it comes out easily. Um, this one's not wanting to come out easily. This is a good demonstration. So I'm not using the pins, but I just use pressure. So I can start it out on one end. I'm starting out on this one with the spring, bring it. And now, again, not using the pins, but just pulling on the frame coming out straight, you now have the action out. So the thing to think about when you're putting the action back in is on this side, you've got quite a strong spring that you have to first. So I'm gonna go in a little crooked until I know I'm past the spring. Then I'm gonna straighten it out on the base end, then go in completely straight. I push all the way in, put the cheek block in place, then pull back with the action to seat the cheek block. Pull back with the action. And know that if with the Steinway action, you have to put the cheek blocks in anytime you do any playing. If you just put the action in and push it all the way back, the dampers would just continually ring on. Then to put this back, on and do the reverse line it up in front of the keys place that on keep it parallel come to this end I don't know if you'll be able to video it oh one thing I didn't show um Close. Can you come to this angle? Right here, what I'm pointing at is a spring. So when you put this key cover on, you don't want to go just straight back or you hit the spring. So bring it up so that the curvature is just underneath the cornice and then down. Then you're going to have to bring this forward and do a little bit of... Um, flattening that into place and that is how and now I'm going to put the screws on and then put the key slip back on. <laughs> 